What's up everyone, this is Live Talks Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your older iOS device feel new again and so that way it runs smoothly and usable, like it used to when it was just released. So, thanks to one of my viewers for recommending this video. If you guys have any video recommendations, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below, and I can probably give you a shout out. So make sure you go and check them out in the link down below so you can visit their channel. Also, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing to my other channel. It's actually kicking off pretty well. Each video is getting a lot of views, which I really appreciate. And we're almost at 400 subscribers on that channel. So thank you for watching that channel. So let's get started with the video. So the first trick to get a little bit more speed out of your iOS device is going to sound a little odd and opposite of what you're used to. And that is actually never to close out of applications you constantly use. So for example, if you turn on your iDevice and go ahead and launch settings, you're going to notice it's pretty slow when opening up. If it's never been opened before, you'll see it takes some time to load and the animation stutter quite a bit. Well, if you leave settings open in the background, maybe because you visit it quite often, your device will actually run faster. So you can see that now that settings has already been opened and you won't have to wait for any slow animations or lag. It's actually kind of interesting how leaving your most used applications open can speed up your device. And in fact, Apple even recommends this on their website. You can go ahead and read a few articles that they've even mentioned on their website. And it basically just explains the same thing. Now, if this trick is combined with turning on reduced motion, you can get a very fast fluid experience on iOS. You will pretty much eliminate all lag on your device, animations will be smooth, and your user experience, I believe, will be increased by a significant amount, mainly because every time you do open up an application, it basically fades in rather than having a stuttery animation zooming into the application, so that'll speed up your device. Also, a lot of people forget about how many tabs they have open in Safari, so it can really help if you close all of them inside of Safari, and the way you do this is just by holding down on the tab button and then tap on close all. This will significantly speed up whenever you look something up inside of Safari. Turning off background app refresh is also very helpful, but you do want to make sure background app refresh is possibly turned on for your most used applications. So for example, if you constantly use Facebook, it would be good to have background app refresh turned on. Now in this specific example, Facebook is an app that hogs a ton of RAM and will slow down your iPhone. So maybe you want to be specific on which apps you do turn on and off. Also, it can help to restart your iDevice every now and then. You can just go ahead and tap on shut down inside of settings, or you can restart it by pressing on the home button and power button at the same time. So if you do all of these tricks, you should increase the speed and performance of your iDevice and your iPhone will run that much smoother. So that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.